Well, hello everyone. This is going to be <clears throat> fire alarm test number 47. And today we're going to be testing the the Gentex SHG 24110 1WB. And that's right. It is the Gentex SHG. So I finally, I'm finally testing one of these guys directly on camera today. And by the way, this is an older SHG. It's not the SHG that um, sounds like a Commander 3 like the newer ones do. This is actually an older version of the Gentex SHG. But this is a later model because that's why it has a reflector and it has this diffuser lens to amplify the strobe. It has these ridges, and for the Gentex SHG, it looks a lot like the Gentex GOS, which I made a video of it in back in Fire Alarm Test 25 three years ago. So I made that I made a video of that alarm three years ago. So for the fun of it, let's zoom out and let's scoot this over to the side, and we're gonna compare it with my Gentex GOS right here. As you can see, the GOS looks a little bit the same as the SHG, except the grill on it is bigger and it has a bigger sounder. But on the SHG, the grill on this thing is smaller. So I'm pretty much one of the few people on YouTube that has both the GOS and the SHG, both unique models in white. And for the fun of it, the strobes do look a little bit different. The strobe on this one is 110 candela, and this one is 50, 1575 candela, which has a clear lens and no ridges on, on that. So let's take a look at the backs. So let's turn them around and take a look at the backs. As you can see, the backs look a little bit different. So as you can see, it has the jumpers right here, and the back's a little bit different. So let's turn these back around. So, so we're only testing the SHG today, so let's take this out of the frame. And I'm gonna go put it back on my shelf where it belongs. All right. Let's get a closer look at the SHG horn strobe. All right, so let's zoom back in. As you can see, here's the information sticker on the back. It's UL listed. It's approved for New York, and the model number is SHG 24-110-1WB. And this thing was made in the 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 fourth week of 1994 so this is a pretty old device and it is US listed and it's 17 milliamps and it's 24 volts DC and this thing is approved for New York City which is pretty cool and let's take a look at the inside so I'm gonna carefully take this cover off if I can get it off. There we go. Okay, when we take the cover off, we have circuitry back here. These two jumpers right here control if the horn and strobe run together or separately if you want to put it in two wire or four wire mode. This jumper right here selects the alarm if you want to put it in continuous or march time. So, I think that's a pretty cool feature right there, but we're gonna leave it in continuous. I will, I will test the March time in a later video, but we're gonna leave it in continuous for right now. But I just wanted to keep this very easy and simple to do, and let's let's zoom out. Let's turn this back around. 
and let's see what it does. As for the moment of truth, the first thing that we're going to do is the strobe portion of the alarm. So we're going to power up the strobe, and just to be aware, the strobe is 110 candela, and it it's going to be very very bright and and um with the strobe 110 candela and for this type of alarm I'm not using my 12 volt DC power supply instead I'm using a 12 uh, a 24 volt DC power supply this time around because I got this thing off eBay used, used and um of course this thing doesn't want to stand okay so Let's plug in the power and power up the strobe in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is bright. Brighter than ever. Other than that, it's 110 candela. As you can tell by the Gentex GOS's strobe on this strobe right here, it's actually flashing a little bit slower. So this one flashes a little bit slower than the Gentex GOS's strobe. Let's take off the lights up here. As you could tell, that is very bright, especially in the dark. Okay, let's turn the lights back on. Okay, let's unplug it. Now we're going to test the horn and strobe together. So anyways guys, before I plug in the device, um, be sure if you're watching this video please turn down your volume because this is a really loud alarm. So anyways guys, we're going to test the horn and strobe together. So here we go. I'm a little nervous to do this, but I have hearing protection on. So anyways, ready? Three, two. One. Man, that was loud. That was really loud. <laughs> well, having hear having hearing protection on helps. So, because this thing will literally blow your ears out. So, anyways, let's go on to the pole station part of the test. And for the final part of the test, we're going to be using the Notifier BG-10L. And by the way, um, I've seen um, Gentex SHGs with Notifier uh, BG-10Ls. So anyways, we're going to give this a quick pull. And we're going to, since my mom got home, since we're going to only sound it off for like, like 10 seconds or 10 to 15 seconds and then 
I'm going to quickly uh, reset the pole station. So here we go. Three, two, one. Man, that was loud, and this thing doesn't want to stand up. Let's give it one more pull. Three, two, one, push in, pull down. All right, that's it for right now. Actually, let's unplug the power supply and I'll show you the inside of the pole station. Yeah, here's the inside of the pole station. It's got the button and stuff like that. It's got the button. That's, that's basically what's in the inside of this pole station. All right, so anyways, well, I hope you enjoyed the Gentex SHG horn strobe for fire alarm test number 47, guys. So anyways, let's take off my hearing protection. So I just wanted to say thank you all for all the support that you guys have given me on YouTube, and I just wanted to say thank you. For all the support and for you guys loving this um, fire alarm test demo series and a couple months later we're we're about to hit six years of doing this series and I'll probably um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it up to fire alarm test number 50 we are so this is fire alarm test 47 so anyways guys, I figured I would make an extra fire alarm test today as well because today is February 2nd and it's my birthday and and I am I feel like I'm getting older guys. As you could tell, sometimes you could tell that my voice is getting a little bit deeper. But sorry, I'm moving the camera around a little bit. Sorry about that folks. But I just wanted to say thank you all for all the support that you've given me on YouTube and I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video of my Gentex alarm it does make a very cool noise on um, all that but it does have the March time feature on it when you remove the jumper but I will test the March time in a separate video when I do my fire alarm mini tests like the tones and the codes and all that stuff but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and that will be it and thank you so much thank you thank you thank you for all the support you have given me on YouTube and I just wanted to say thank you and I can't thank you guys enough for 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 me for this fire alarm test demo series to be continued. So anyways, thank you for watching fire alarm test 47 and that will be it. Thank you so much and bye-bye.